Hello, welcome to this video on correlation statistics. We'll be looking at Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. This is our problem here, constituting problem two in our series of correlation coefficient, specifically for Spearman's correlation coefficient. For the problem, the table below shows the ranks of students in mathematics and physics tests. Calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So we have the rank of the mathematics and this is the rank of physics. Since we have already been given the rank, we only consider the formula for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, which is 1 minus 6 sigma d squared over n into n squared minus 1. For our d, we are looking at the difference between the two values and then square it. So we need additional columns. The first column for d, which is 8 minus 7, giving us 1. 5 minus 10 gives negative 5. 9 minus 6 gives 3. 2 minus 3 gives negative 1. 4 minus 2 gives 2. 1 minus 5 gives negative 4. 7 minus 9 gives negative 2. 3 minus 1 gives 2. 10 minus 8 gives 2. 6 minus 4 gives 2. Then we go for d squared. For d squared, we square this. 1 squared gives 1. Negative 5 squared gives 25. 3 squared gives 9. Negative 1 squared gives 1. 2 squared gives 4. Negative 4 squared gives 16. Negative 2 squared gives 4. 2 squared gives 4. We then add d squared, which is representing the sigma d squared. Summing them up, we have 72. Substituting into the formula, the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient will be 1 minus 6 multiplied by 72, since the sigma d squared is 72, divided by our n is 10, because we have 10 students that took part in the two tests, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's going to give us 10 into 10 squared minus 1. Simplifying further, we have 1 minus, imputing this in our calculator, we have it as minus 0 0.4364. Simplifying further, we have our final answer to be 0 0.5636, which represents the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of the ranks of students in both mathematics and physics texts. And that is the end of the solution to this problem. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.